Hello, this next short video was intended to show you how to set up Visual Studio to use main as the program entry point rather than the T main uh, entry point which comes with the Microsoft default template. Uh, th the reason for this, certainly most of the examples you see are going to use main uh, and, and in fact T main is not actually part of the C++ programming language, it's a Microsoft extension which is intended to support uh, Unicode encodings and if you're interested in finding a little bit more about that then I'd recommend that you go and have a look at uh, unicode.org and there's all the information that you could possibly possibly need there. Uh, from our point of view though we're just going to have a look at the practicalities of actually getting the project set up to use main rather than rather than tmain. So I'm going to create a new project so exactly the same way I've still got Win32 console application Win32 so I'm still in Visual C++ obviously uh, I'll give it a name so we'll call it a uh, We'll just call it test app. Yeah, doesn't really matter in this case what we're calling it. Uh, making sure we're saving it somewhere sensible. Okay, and from there I say OK to that. Okay, this time rather than just clicking on finish and accepting the defaults, I'm going to select next. And importantly, I need to put a tick in this empty project. I'm not going to use a Microsoft default template. I'm going to use one of my own. Now, now there are ways to change the templates but bearing in mind that we're running over network settings with different settings then I'm just gonna we're gonna do we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do the process manually okay I'll click finish right. and that's created my test app project if you notice though I've no CP file CPP file open there there's nowhere to type my code and I need to now create that manually so I'm gonna click I'm going to right click on source files there I want it in the correct directory and add new item okay. and I'm wanting a C++ CPP file so I click on there okay. and I want to give it the same name as my I want to give it the same name as my project so my project is called test underscore app so I'm going to call my C++ file test underscore app and I'm going to add it and I've now got a blank CPP file. At this point what we're going to do is we're just going to add our own little project. So I'll make this available to you over the Moodle. I'll we'll make a copy of this available to you but you can easily make your own. It's not very long. Notice, a couple of things to notice. We're going to include IO Stream. We need IO Stream to put anything out to the anything out to the console window and as most of our programs we're writing do that then we may as well put it in now. Well, by and large, we're using the standard namespace, so we'll we'll mark that in there as well. Uh, notice the different signature. Rather than T main, we've now got int main. There's two signatures we can use for main. We don't need any uh, arguments passing into our programs from the console, so we can just use plain int main. We're always going to generally want to have a look at what we've written, so it makes sense to keep system pause in there, and then we're just returning zero at the bottom of there. Okay, so if I grab that and copy and paste that into my project, okay, and I can now save it. I'm actually just save and build. So I'll build a solution. Okay, and that's succeeded. So I should now just be able to run that. And there we go. We've got a we've got an empty blank project that now uses main instead of T main.